today we are going to create a asset purchase order and we'll try to see uh, how the values will flow to asset and also we'll create uh, asset and uh, uh, we'll also check asset explorer all the information so this is something specific to asset purchase order so first uh, we'll create a asset for us so just press enter and i'm going on creating one asset like uh, here r001 the model uh, some asset i'm just creating uh, just to show how we can use this asset and uh, go to depreciation area and here you can give a depreciation area so i will do a procurement and everything uh, today so for that reason i will start the depreciation also from this current month uh, or else uh, it is totally based upon the business will decide like when to start the depreciation and all so as i am going to do the procurement and everything today so i will create a asset so asset i 10003 has been created okay we'll just go here and go to slash and as03 so if we see the capitalization date i will show you once it will show you up if we go down and uh, scroll down if you see the capitalization on date it is blank so it is not showing up anything just press enter now we'll go to asset explorer aw01n transaction code so here also it is not showing up anything it is clearly showing blank so for this asset now we'll do ME21N. And I will close all this information which is not needed. I will give the vendor as 9300 and go to header information. So the purchase organization is Tata Motors UN and purchase group is Tata Motors or TMN and uh, company code is Tata Motors US. So I have given all this information. Now we'll go to item overview. And just enter all the uh, basic informations which we basically enter like uh, here 10. Uh, this is a critical part where for asset accounting, what we will do is we will select the A. And here, provide the material number and short text. I will mark it as, or don't give any material. R to R, R005 is uh, our model number and PO quantity will be, uh, let's say pure quantity one each the delivery date price as 50,000 uh, provide all this information material group plant and storage location so 50,000 is net price okay go to item overview here, uh, net price has gone again. So just enter it from here. It will not happen in the real scenario because I have done this configuration. There is some error. Uh, so under ac account assignment, give the asset details here. So this is my asset, press enter. So after that, uh, go to this check and check whether we have any errors no we don't have any errors and post save it now select this one copy this purchase order close it 
what I will do is I will create one my or my document. I will just create one uh, Miko document also so before that. Just press and oh, oh, 62, I believe. And give all the information say like this, okay. So Miko also got created, then we'll go to Miro document. Give the information here, asset 01, amount as 50,000, that is fine. Here are the asset details too, and press enter. So all this information has came in and give the jurisdiction code. So I don't see any errors now and just save this one. So the purchase order has been created. First, I will show the purchase order. Then we'll go to our asset details also. Slash an ME 23 N. Close this one. And this is a purchase order history. Okay, so we have uh, procured the asset at the time of invoice. Okay, there is no goods received and nothing. So we'll go directly and we'll see. The asset details. Now we'll go to AS03. And see the capitalization date. So here I see the capitalization date and all. Now we'll go and check. AW01N. Press enter. So here you can see that uh, asset valuation and the depreciation value is also updated. And this is how the asset can be procured from a purchase order. Thank you.